I think by understanding mosquitoes here at FIU and at other places around the country, that we can really make a, a major contribution to global health. At FIU, at the Laboratory of Mosquito Genetics and Behavior, which I, I run, we are trying to understand the genetic basis of mosquito behavior, and we're interested in using that knowledge to develop new chemicals that could be useful for behavioral control of mosquitoes, so new attractants and repellents. We're also interested in using our genetic techniques to understand mosquito reproduction, which of course is really important for population control. These mosquitoes, um, like the mosquito I study, uh, Aedes aegypti, and I also do some work with Aedes albopictus, these mosquitoes carry dengue, zika, chikungunya, and other viruses. Understanding how they find us is, I think, a key to blocking the transmission of all of these illnesses. In our insectary, we have a collection of mosquito strains that we have developed uh, using genome editing techniques. We have removed the function of specific genes, and in some cases, we insert a visual marker so we can see, as, as you're seeing here on the right, we've inserted a gene that makes the mosquito red under fluorescent light. And this allows us to identify the mutant strain. So we remove the, the function of, let's say, one gene at a time, and then we learn what that gene does by its absence. So when a gene is lost, sometimes mosquitoes have trouble finding people, and that's what we've been finding here in the lab.